Eight overs into the match in New South Wales. One for 28. Welcome back to the cricket, everyone. The New South Wales Blues up against the Tasmanian Tigers. Nathan Nichols into the attack very early on here with one for 28 down for the Blues. As here's his first delivery. He's driven down and mid-off fields. So for a leg spinner, or for a wrist spinner, sorry, he's brought into the attack very early on here for the Tigers. As second ball, he's leg sideish and Hampton, who's on four, steps back and punches this one out to a short mid wicket. In comes Nichols again. First time we've seen him with the ball after a tidy little knock with the bat. He did very well getting into the mid thirties. His top score for first class cricket. Now he's up to the ball tricks. Already one wicket down as his over so far has been fully defended. Hampton, who's been there for 21 balls as he's sweeping. Oh, the appeal goes up. Is that even close? I'm not sure. What's the umpire got to say? No. Did look a bit outside leg. The umpire tends to agree. Nichols. Good to get that first shot as he puts this one away from his pants and it's into the stands for six. Wow, what a way to finish. A great bowling over from Nichols. Has been spanked one. A full ball right on his ankles and he really got under it on the bounce. Clipped that off his ankles and it went all the way. Yes. Just over the rope. That finishes the over. Six off it. And there we go, the blue one. That's where the pain happened for Nichols. Not his best finish, but still five good balls, the one bad one. Hilfenhaus is the man to get the one wicket. Nichols bowling alongside him as the second over gets underway. The top ball to start off. So 3-32 is the first innings total as Nichols comes in again. Oh, trouble here as charging down the pitch comes Hampton. Deciding in the end to just block it away. Nichols again. Third ball of the over. Shorter one and a bounce. Look at that. No bounce at all. Just dobs through to Payne. Who was even surprised of the lack of bounce here as a batsman. Nichols again and it's padded. Forward defending from Hampton. Just get that one away from his stumps. He hit a six off Nichols' last ball in his first over. What's he got this time? Oh, that's hit the stumps! That's gone right through the pads! Hits it! Bounces through and clean bowled! Knocked off the bales! Hampton doesn't know what's going on. Was it LBW? Was it bowled? There it goes. Oh, it hit the ankle roll kind of at the bottom by his boot. Then it rolled, clipping in the dirt. Hits leg and middle. The bale just falls off. What a way to go! Nichols is struck in a second over. Well, what do you call that? I'm not sure. But Ben Rohr is in next, and he's got an average up around 40, so he's no mug here. The number four batsman for New South Wales, but wow. Two for 36 after 10.5 overs. What a delivery from Nichols. As Rohr gets the first one away, and that completes the over. A wicked maiden from Nathan Nichols. Oh, I love that one. Squeezing under the pad and through to just tap the stumps. Quite amazing. What a ball. Look at it. There is the white one. Cracker. Three for 37. Jackson Bird has struck for the Tigers. As they are looking like the best team here by quite some margin. 332 is the target for first innings for the Blues. Jackson Bird, Hilfenhaus and Nichols all have one wicket apiece here. Carters is on strike. He's the mainstay on 24. Peterson, the new man in. Rora did not last long at all. One for six. One scoring shot off Nichols so far. And that was a big one. As the next ball's flicked off the pads. And there's a mere man fielding out their leg gully. Pulls it in. Nichols. Three dot balls. Forward defending one. Straight on. And there's a short leg in there waiting. Now this is the key man here. Oh, as Nichols is out bamboozled in there. A fuller one. It's straight on. Arm ball. Next one is a similar delivery, but it's this time. Punched down the ground. Mid-off fielding that. And a maiden coming in from Nichols. 
Well, Tasmania looking good here. Pressure from all angles. Hilfenhaus, Bird, Nichols doing the damage. Three for 41. The run rate under three. They've got a long way to go here to the Blues. Tasmania looking on top of things at the moment as the first ball is defended. From Carter as he defends the next as well. Now, do they have time for this? They need to keep the scoreboard ticking over. Patterson's got one. It's a very slow inning so far as he backs away. Carter's and kicks this one out to the covers. No run taken there. Struggling to get anything away here from Nichols. 45 balls he's been out there for now. Straight down the pitch and Nichols fields. Well, the Blues need to pull something up here. This is the man that needs to keep on the strike as Carter's Patterson has to really get himself in quickly. Three for 41. Last ball of this over from Nichols as he backs away again. Carter's and punches out to the covers. No run again. Another maiden from Nichols. Wow, that one was very... Just nothing happening there at all for the batsmen. They were just wanting to defend, looking to play time, looking to get themselves in to the run of this pitch. 17th over is about to get underway, and it's fair to say that if you look at the Tasmanian innings, if you play yourself in, as the first ball is defended, there is a good chance of spending some time getting some big runs in this match on this pitch today. It's a beautiful sunny day. As Nichols comes in, ball two, and it's defended again. Carters is really battening down the hatches. Nichols is going to have to play something special to break these defences down. How can he force them to attack? That's not bad. That is a beautiful way. Steps back and win aerial through and just kind of mid-off, a wide mid-off. Probably a bit too deep that time. Top ball, though, nonetheless, and... Again, back to the defence now. That would have scared Carters a bit. He said, well, I'm not having any of that. He's on 27. Nichols rifling through these overs. Is that one straightened outside off and just beat the bats? 17th over with one ball to go. And that's a nice on drive. Chance of the stumps, but they don't. Don't move. Well, another over complete. There was a callie. Yep, that was quickly turned around. Nichols really veering that up. A couple balls a lot slower. Good deliveries, though. All oh, right there, thereabouts. It is remarkable figures here from Nichols. Five overs, four maidens, one for six. Still, only one scoring shot against him from 5.1 overs. He is bowling the 19th over now. Patterson has moved through to eight, and they are three for 48. As that's a vicious strike. And it's fielded quite easy in the end from mid on. Third ball, the over. Still no run off Nichols. As again, it's struck down the ground, and again, mid on slides across and easily covers it over. Well, he might owe his fieldsman there at mid on a drink after this one. He's fielded beautifully. As the defensive shot comes back into play. Nichols is absolutely pouring through these overs. And again, forward defending is Patterson. Happy to let this just tick away. Nichols is happy just to get... Oh, he's... oh what's going on there? It's hit the pad. It's bounced over stumps. It's LBW. Another wicket goes. Nichols has two. What on earth was he thinking there, Patterson? Was it an edge? There was no edge. He's looking back. He's shaking his head. Either way, we won't get a replay of the last ball of the other either. But it's definitely hit the pad on the way through. Shorter ball was going to hit middle, I feel. Wicket caught by the umpire, and he is gone. Well, that's be a new man coming into the crease, and that is the wicket keeper and captain, Peter Neville. Four for 55. Nichols getting the job done. Comes in. Oh, that is clean bowled. Straight through Carters. It's been a long and very, very arduous defence. But he has completely missed that. 
Oh, what was he trying to do there? He looked all sorts of uncomfortable and wrong. He was miles away from the ball. Well, it's a case of you miss, I hit. Look at that seam upright from the spinner. Oh, wow. Such a long stay from Carter's. And he has absolutely butchered that with an absolute dreadful hit. Copeland comes to the crease. He's the new man in. It's five for 55. Neville's yet to face a ball. It's Nichols. Second ball of the over is a dot. Copeland on strike. Well, 332 is looking a long, long way away at the moment. Nichols has three for six. Still just one scoring shot off his over so far. And he comes again. Copeland is just driving tamely down the ground. 20 overs gone. They're just going slyly over two and over. There we see 2.66. Nichols in again. That one's flicked off the pads and it's just eluded the keeper. Tim Payne diving valiantly. To the leg side. Copeland living a fortune life at the moment. Now he's sweeping very straight as well. And it's gone straight to mid on. And there's no run there. A wicked maiden. A very, very good over from Nichols once again. All sorts going wrong. Completely missing the ball. Carter's the key man. The linchpin to the innings. Look at that over. All on the stumps as well. Xavier Doherty has come on at the other end and look what he's done. He has taken another wicket. Six for 57. What a unit this Tasmanian side is today. This could be one of the lowest totals in Australian domestic cricket history. Nichols is in again and another drive down from Copeland. O'Keefe is the man at the other end. Well, we've seen something special in the bowling department. Not one man has ripped them apart. It's been a very big team performance here from the Tigers. There's another defended ball. It's almost too late for defence now. Maybe time to start thinking we need to get as many runs as we can as backing away as Copeland to punch it into the covers. So much has happened. So many wickets has fallen. Copeland's on one. Nichols has three for six as solid defense again. I'm still stunned at how Carter's went out. He was the man. He was batting so well. As that one strikes a pad on the way through. I think that was high and definitely outside off stump. The umpire agrees and that should well complete the over. It does. Have a look at that last ball. Oh, no. Definitely was not too high. Maybe it was just outside off. Seven for 64. They batted well together, did Doherty and Nichols, but look at how they're bowling together. They have played some time. As that one strikes a pad, the bip hill goes up. It looked to be a down leg side. And the umpire again agrees. Now, this has to be called... Sandhu batting and driving nicely but it's picked up thought that might have got away from the fielder Nichols applauds his man Sandhu is on 7 off 7 aggressively as he misses that one completely gotta love the old school helmet he's sporting here different blue to everyone else as he sweeps and gets the ball away and there it is the second scoring shot off Nathan Nichols, can you believe it? He has bowled so long into the 25th over now. And that is only his second scoring shot conceded. And he's now up to three for seven. It's that one again, strikes a pad. That one looks a bit more interesting. What's the umpire got to say? No, again. Oh, I don't know about that one. It was definitely going on. Copeland survives another day. And this time... He slashes at it and gets it down to mid on. But you have to say, Doherty and Nichols proving to be a very strong combination. Not only with the bat as we saw in day one, but now the ball. They are proving to be very hard to get away and wickets are tumbling. 
Well, Nichols has taken a 15-over break, and look what's happened. We've seen another two wickets fall, and it is nine for 104. So they managed to get into triple figures, but they've lost two more wickets. For the sake of 30 runs, it is dreadful batting here from the Blues. Not much more you can say. Copeland's there on 25. He's been the main run getter. And that one's hit in the sky and just pulled in on the bounce. They didn't bother to run either. Thought maybe the man down there at fine leg could have had that covered. Copeland, very slow innings from him. Very aggressive now is all. Silk going straight to the bowler's end. Nichols not quite expecting. Three for seven. They've cleaned up here, have Tasmania. Defensive again from Copeland. He's got 25. He's, he's played well. His hand has been forced as he smashes this one. Great shot. And it's down there to Deepman Wicket. Pulls it in. Well, he's batted well. And we've got a very aggressive field on here for Nichols. Up against Bollinger. Look at that. Two very wide slips as he's just fishing the bat out there looking for some defense. And that completes the over. Bollinger survives the last ball. And the Blues live on once again. But the follow-on, well, it looks inevitable, does it not? Great bowling from this whole team. Tasmania on top. Well, it just required a few more balls and the innings of the New South Wales Blues has come to a close. A another wicket for Xavier Doherty. He's cleaned up the table along with a run out of Hazelwood from Payne. And that has seen the tail just fall apart. Doherty, 4 for 39. Great bowling figures after Nichols, 3 for 8. Took out the top order of Carters, Hampton and Patterson. Burrard and Hilfenhaus chipped into the top as well. But then it was all Doherty. Look at that. Getting Neville. Caught Hilfenhaus. Bowled Doherty. Then LBW Copeland. Clean bowling O'Keefe. And then Sandu. LBW as well. That is a clinical bowling performance. 40.5 overs. And they have been bowled out for 105. Interesting stat here. Although they have a lead of about 227 runs. If my math serves me correctly. Tasmania have opted through their captain. Of course, Tim Payne to bat again. So next time you join the series, we will be in to bat. Possibly a little bit of a cameo required from the batsman to get almost the ungettable at 2.30 here. A bit of a smash here from the Tigers. Could see them clean through the Blues lineup again and win this match. That'll be the plan. Will it go to effect? Well, tune in next time. Thank you for tuning in and watching this episode if you're loving this cricket series give it a thumbs up as well and don't forget to subscribe if you're new and i'll see you all next time for the third innings possibly if nichols gets a bat until then thanks for watching and take care